Hey guys, what's up? I hope you're all having a wonderful Mandela Effect day. I got Teresa here with me, my, my uh, prime residue hunter. Hey, Teresa. Hey, everyone. <laughs> Good evening. Hey. So, uh, Teresa, you want to tell us a little bit about this uh, Oscar the Grouch deal? Uh, what, what, where did you hear it from? Yes. Well, I, I've seen it. I've seen it posted on one of the um, YouTube videos. But I just can't remember which one. And when I started looking at it, I said, no way. So supposedly, Oscar the Grouch in season one, which was 1969, um, supposedly Oscar the Grouch was originally orange just for one year. But I don't remember Oscar the Grouch ever being orange. Me neither. I remember him always being green. Yeah, me, uh, me either. What about you, Brian? I don't remember, remember orange. It just no. looks really off. It looks really like, bizarre. Really <laughs> um, it looks really bizarre, to say the least. And and to say that it, it, it was only part of season one, really, um, it, it could really mess with us. So mm -hmm. I, I did ask an old friend what she had to say because she, wa she sat down to watch this with her kids. And what she remembers is they had, uh, uh, like, a grouch... Um, it was his dad, actually, in her in that reality. In her reality, it was the dad who was orange, and and he was actually conversing with the dad. Oscar was green, and he was conversing with his wow. father. So, but now we see Oscar the Grouch in this reality was orange in the first season. So yes, and I got to give also credit to uh, Candace and and her group on this one in the in the outer circle. Um, they said they were talking about it for a while, for a few weeks ago. Um, <clears throat> I mean, a few weeks ago. So, you know, it's really, really strange how these effects are, you know, how they work. You have to understand the Mandela effect. You have to understand how it works. It's quantum change, which means it changes the past, the present and the future. Um, and, and it, and I think it's at the molecular level, but what, what's happening here is you're seeing these toys. I, we would have seen some kind of residue, like old toys. Uh, I go to flea markets all the time, not just so I can look for Mandel effects, but because I like collecting items. We would have come across this somewhere. I, I really feel it. Um, an orange Oscar the Grouch. And my parents would have even known it too. Because, um, you know, this was like our babysitter back in the 80s. We didn't have, um, we didn't have daycares. So back then, uh, we had the TV was our nanny. And... Um, yep. So, this Sesame Street deal, Sesame, just to be sure, is spelled S-E-S-A-M-E -E space street. Correct. And there's there was always a 123 up above that, so that's their address. 123 Sesame Street. Yeah. And this show, I, I've actually got something here to show you guys, uh, if I can, Teresa. Uh, you can't see my okay. screen, but I'll show it. You could, you could look at it later. Uh, okay. This is Muppet Wiki, Oscar the Grouch through the years. So Sesame Street season one, 1969. The original Oscar yes. puppet is orange. This version used in the early episodes of season one is built around a right-handed work glove with no foam interior. At this time, the way the set is built for, uh, forces performer Carol Spinney uh, to, use this, to use his left hand making this version of the puppet look awkward. The puppet's eyes can shift from left to right. So they changed it a little bit later in season one, 1969. Oscar is refurbished for episodes nine and 10 with an arm. Uh, he had no limbs before, wow. So you see that? Uh, then Sesame Street season one, 1969 to 70. This rebuilt Oscar used for the remainder of season one has a large foam head and an eyebrow mechanism. Wow. And this set was changed to allow Spinny to work with his right hand. Okay, so somewhere between it's episode five, mid nineteen seventy. Between the first and second seasons of Sesame Street, Oscar appeared on the Flip Wilson show with a new design, including green fur and a blue and a blue eyebrow. His head had yet to take its final shape. Shortly after the second season premiere, episode 131, an altered version of this puppet would be used as, as Granny, Gr Granny Grouch. So Oscar the Grouch, uh, in not, not in my reality. In my reality, he was always green. I don't know about you guys. This Me is too. 
Me too. I agree with you, Brian. Of course, they made his eyebrow later brown. I do remember that. Uh, it's just... It, Brian, I, it sounds like he's been through a lot of changes over the years, you know? Like they mm -hmm. were upgrading him, you know, to make him better. Yes. You agree yes. with me on that? <clears throat> I agree, but I, I, don't, I do not remember him being orange. Me either, me either. And I used to love Sesame Street. I mean, my parents would just plop me down in front of the TV, and I do not ever look and seeing him orange. It just, it blew my mind to see it. It just like, no, that's wrong. Mm -mm. But I'm curious to know what your audience thinks about that. You know? I'm curious too, you guys. So let's put out the vote there. Yeah, guys, we, we want to hear from you and see any of the older viewers, you know, people who were around in the late 60s, you know, not your young 18 year olds, but the older ones that remember seeing season one back in mm -hmm. 1969. Did you guys remember watching it with him having, you know, orange fur? Because I sure don't, and Brian sure don't, but let's see what you guys think. Yeah, you know? and, and speaking of parallel what worlds. Do you think, Brian? Yeah, I I'm curious to know what the other uh, what the audience seems to think of this. But yeah, there, there is another too. there's a TV show out there. It's called Fringe. Okay, it's a TV series. Oh and, yeah. And, yeah. Have you seen that, Teresa? Oh my gosh! Yes, I cried when it stopped um, when they canceled it at the end. Remember? Mm -hmm. They canceled it. Yeah, I know. How many uh, how and, many seasons and was it? The idea was that they were traveling between two different realities and yes. the other reality had completely different things than the other reality. That's kind of what it feels like now, you yes. know, and my like good... we're going back and forth. <laughs> my, yes. And my good friend, Billy, who did an awesome, excellent job cutting my hair. Uh, if you can, um, guys, check this uh, TV show out. Okay. I was trying to see if there's anything else I need to, I need to tell you guys. Uh, uh, Sesame Street. Fringe was an awesome show. Fringe was very good. I miss, like I said, I I miss that show. I wish well, they'd bring it back. One yeah. Day. And yeah. speaking of, um, I know I've been meaning to do a video about this, but there is this totally different uh, McDonald's character that maybe no one has ever heard of. Um, what, what's it called? Let me see. I forget his name. Is it a new uh, a new character? It just came out. It's it's a new character that nobody seems to remember. Oh. Um, What's it called? Well, there was a hamburger. I remember him. I think it's the professor. Remember him? Maybe no. I can't remember. You want me to see if I can see any? Let me. You want me to bring it up and see it's what okay. the characters Don't... are currently? I can do that for you. Hold on. All right. Let me, let me see what I can find here. Hold on. Characters. I think it has to do with this weird professor character. Does anybody remember this uh, professor character? Do you remember it, Teresa? No. Heck no. No, 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 no. Let me see what we got here. Yeah, there's Captain no, Crook, professor right? Crook. We have Hamburglar. Who's the purple guy? Do you remember? Yeah. Gr is it Grimly? Yeah, remember the purple one. Is that Grimly? What's his name? Grimly. Grimace. Grimace, or Grimace. Grimace. Was it Grimace? Grimace. Right, and there's. Oh, here we go. I got a list here. Sunday. I got a list of the characters. We got Grimace, G R I M A C E. We got Hamburglar. We have Ronald McDonald. Hamburglar. We have Mayor McCheese. We have Birdie the Early Bird. Mm -hmm. And Fry's Kids. I'm wondering if they added on some new characters over the years, because a lot of these characters go way far back. You know right. what I mean? But almost There's everybody a Wikipedia I've... that claims when they came out, yeah. Wikipedia and McDonald's, mm -hmm. um, they actually say when the characters were, when they came out with them, you know, like they were different, like, years. Yeah. Like, the oldest one to me would be uh, the, bur you know, the Burglar and Grimace. To me, those are the older ones, the bur Burglar, what do you call it, Hamburglar. You agree? Yeah. I don't know. It's it's like my whole world has changed, so I don't know what's what anymore. Honestly, that's how I feel. Like I, I don't remember this professor guy, and I'm sitting there looking at Ronald McDonald's zipper going down his shirt, and I'm, I vaguely remember, but then again, my mind wants to tell me it was buttons. I I don't know. I have no idea, guys. I feel like I'm in La La Land. Uh, I found uh, some residue while I was looking for something else. 
It says, what are the names of the characters from Chuck E. Cheese? <laughs> I just found residue here. I was looking for one thing and I found something else. Have a great night, guys, and God bless. Have a great Mandela effect night. Okay, good night.